Hi everyone, in today's video I will teach you how to install Udo on Linux and Windows. For that you need to have the YAML file or Docker file that we have discussed in the previous lecture. To set up the environment just go to your drive partition and make a folder anywhere you want by any name that you like. I have made the directory by the Udo 11 name. Inside this directory, you need to have two other directories by the name of add-ons and by the name of etc. Another thing that you need to set up the environment for your Odoo 11 is to have this docker compose file or we can set the YAML file. In the etc directory, there is another file by the name of odoo.com which is also important to set up the environment for Odoo 11. Inside this docker compose file, we have to mention the images that we want to pull and to make a container on the docker for them. The first image that we need is the Postgres and the other is Odo 11. Odo 11 is dependent on the Postgres. So we have mentioned both of them in the YAML file. Another thing that you need is to open your terminal in this location. When the terminal is ready, just type the command sudo docker-compose up and press enter. When you press enter, it will ask for your password, for your system password. Just give the password and press enter. In your case, it will take time to pull the images, to download them and make container for you. For me, it doesn't take time as I have already pulled the images and have made the containers. This directory by the name of addons you will need in case when you want to make or when you want to develop your own custom modules for Udo. This thing we will discuss in the coming lectures. Now go to your favorite browser and uh, just type local host and here you will have to give the, com uh, the port number and the port number will you get you will get from your YAML file here I have mentioned the port number 8070 so I will give the 8070 after typing the local host and full column now press enter when you press enter and for the first time you will not see this page you will see this page for the first time when you uh, type the local host and get the port number now here you have to give the email and the password now by default your email and password will be admin and admin I will give here admin and admin by pressing the enter or clicking this login button I will log in into this, um, uh, into this database you can manage the databases by clicking the manage databases button link here now I have only one database currently which is by the name of Udo. I can take a backup of this database I can make a duplicate database of this Udo, and I can delete this database I can also create a new database from here by clicking the create database button I can restore a database if I have already the backup of a database I can restore the database from here and I can also set a master password for my databases now I want to log in into this Udo database I will just click on this and I will get the password and the e email now click on login <coughs> when you log in and to your database you will see the uh, built-in apps that have been developed in Udo if you want to develop your own custom module you will have to stay tuned with us and subscribe to our channel because we are going 
to discuss these things in the coming lectures. You can also uh, develop, you can also, uh, sorry, you can also set up an environment in the Windows platform. I'm, I'm doing this thing in the Linux. You can also do this thing in the Windows. And the Windows, you can install Docker as we have discussed in the previous lecture. And then you will have all these directories in your favorite partition hard drive. And then you will open the PowerShell or command prompt and you will go to the directory in which you have uh, the YAML file like this one. And uh, from there, and from there you will just type the docker compose up and the image will be pu uh, pulled and downloaded and the container will be made for your environment so that was all about the uru installation and the windows and linux thank you for watching